So I've just finished integrating the five frames which make the body of the processor. Um, not only that, but I've managed to rearrange the room uh, so that they're now against the wall and I have a lot more space. Uh, this is because I believe that they're reasonably good to go. The, um, as we don't have the front end of the processor, uh, we can't actually get it to run a real program. So I'm driving it with a, a test system here. Um, the, uh, if we start from the left, um, see here with the, the test board um, driving the, um, the processor through those cables. And then we have the state machine, um, input decoding, um, test program can normally run a lot faster than this, I've just slowed it down uh, so that we can see what's happening and hopefully in real life the processor itself will be able to go faster than test system the test system tops out at about a kilohertz uh, it's that slow because as it generates the uh, test vectors by running a complete simulation of the processor uh, to check that the answers match up with what it expects and there it is. Um, no idea what it's doing at the moment. I hope it's having fun. Uh, so if we go over to the instruction register, which is the top one there. Um, so F9 is going to be one of the iterative instructions. Um, square root perhaps. Um, so the small numbers below 80 are ALUX type um, instructions, so they'll take only a single cycle. The ones in the eight, 80 upwards are more complex, and so sometimes you dwell there for a few cycles. F9, that's, we had that one recently, so that's going to be, might be the square root. Um, you see another F coming along? Sometime soon. No. Come on. Uh, F0 went up quickly. That's, I think, um, moving something into the stack pointer. Uh, 